movies and the TV shows? I knew Michael Westmore okay. um, when I was trying to, when I got to California and started um, working, and, and he had always told me, he said, as soon as you get into the union, you know, give me a call. Um, so it took me a few years to get to get the union out there. It's pretty, pretty a long process. And the day that I got into the union, you know, he called and said, okay, we'll come to work. So that's where I, I ended up with Mike for, for over nine years. And that's a good person to work for. Holy yeah, cow. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you know, everybody, you know, thinks Rick Baker was, you know, the, the guy. But, but Michael, you know, comes from that legendary family. Of, of makeup artists and Michael is truly the the person that started because he was the, the most well-rounded makeup artist I ever knew from doing straight and beauty makeup to doing the effects makeup and and so that's kind of how he trained me and wanted me to work and and so that seemed to, to work out well so couldn't have a better teacher what was your most challenging makeup um you mean ever just any anything ever anything ever the one that made you think and scratch your head. And then Star Trek related? And walk away and come back. <laughs> Star Trek was always good. I mean, the only tough makeup I've ever had, um, we did a pilot episode for Aquaman for Warner Brothers, and the uh, the siren that chases Aquaman, she was a, it was me and two other, two other guys, and it was an eight hour makeup in. She had to swim in the ocean, which was freezing, take hot baths in between, so the appliances were just going crazy. And then she was five hours getting out of makeup. So, I mean, and then we would shoot with her for, you know, six, eight hours. So basically we would suck up 24 hours real, real quick on her. Um, so that was probably the most challenging. But as far as Star Trek goes, I mean, nothing was ever real complicated. It was just very time consuming. Borgs were, were always time consuming. Um, for first contact, I mean, the board makeups were taking anywhere from six and a half hours. And of course, we couldn't do that for the, uh, for the television show, so we had to figure out how to streamline it to get it down, and, and most people were able to get it down to four, four and a half hours. Um, I was kind of pretty much able to get them down to about three, one to three. So. Do you have a preference when you're working with makeup? Do you prefer just like a doing standard makeup for like a regular actor, not in prosthetics, or do you do you really enjoy doing the, the heavy prosthetics? No, I, I like doing it all. Um, when you do prosthetics, it just keeps you busy all day long. Right. Because not only are you, you applying it, but then you're constantly watching it, and, and as the skin starts to, you know, sweat and do things, makeup starts to move and things start to come off, and so you're constantly running with it, so it keeps you very busy all day. Um, when you do straight makeup, especially when I was working with George Clooney, I mean that was that was easy. And then it, basically my day was, you know, what conversations could we talk about, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, things like that. So. When our female uh, members of our organization are going to ask about working with George Clooney, yeah. what was that? What movie was that? Up in the air. Okay.